Hi and welcome back to Applic Reviews where we demo and highlight useful software and tech. Today I'll be reviewing an app called IA Writer version 3. So let's get started. So what is IA Writer? Um, basically it's an application that delivers an unmatched writing experience um, designed to provide the best writing experience by letting you keep your hands on the keyboard and your focus on your writing. Uh, so what are um, some key components of IA Writer? First, we'll look at the website. Um, this is IA Writer's website here. And this uh, program was just released, version 3, I believe on the 10th of September. And they have a little demonstration video. Okay. All right, and just to give you a quick example, but uh, this application has been around for years. It started out actually on um, iOS and moved to the Mac um, in 2011. Um, really great application. All right, and let's go into the App Store. And as you can see, we're on version 3, it was released on the 10th. Um, this gives you some idea of the features of the program, which um, I'll be demonstrating uh, most of them. And one of the newer features is the integrated uh, document library, which uh, they recently added. Uh, that wasn't there in version 1 or 2. And uh, if you own the IA Writer Pro application, it's a free upgrade in case you were uh, wondering. And here's a couple of screenshots just to give you an idea. All right. And um, a, a glimpse at the reviews, as you can see. Um, it's been getting uh, quite a, a lot of uh, reviews and a lot of feedback. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the core features. So what are the core features? Uh, modern design uh, that fits Yosemite and El Capitan uh, coming on the 30th of September. Uh, revamp file access, which is the document library that I uh, mentioned and showed you earlier. Beautiful preview with font options. I'll um, show you that. Um, it allows you to focus on writing, um, has a feature a built-in feature called syntax control uh, which uh, essentially enables you to write better by uh, looking at the syntax that you're using and making you know give you the ability to be able to make refinements um, noticing with words objectives nouns and stuff like that you're using frequently and then um, also it includes a built-in font called nitty which was developed um, specifically for writing or at least that's what the developers of that font says and then um, which I really I really like the font um, <clears throat> then lastly it supports Dropbox and iCloud so let's uh, dive into the application really simple interface this is where you can uh, name your document so um, Okay, I'll just keep it simple. You can choose where to save it. You can save it in iCloud, iCloud Drive, or anywhere on your uh, system. This is the library feature. If you click that, the uh, library slides in from the left. You can actually swipe as well. Swipe right and it'll slide in. And preview slides in from the right. We'll get into that shortly. All right, and so let's go back to the library really quick. You can actually search within the library. Now, I think this uh, feature is really uh, great. Um, I would say um, I would like the, them to do a little bit more uh, work on it, but uh, for its, the state that it's currently in, I think it's um, a really great addition to the application. So let's go here now here uh, this little uh, drop down here we can look at stats format and syntax so I'll actually look at this in a little bit so let's see here so stats we can see the characters words sentences and reading time with the format we can 
uh, change the uh, body type, uh, headline from one through six, list, um, metallic, bold, strike through, at length, footnote. This application is an application that uses markdown um, in plain text f uh, to enable you to essentially make any document you write portable um, along you know whether you're using iOS whether you're using Android whether you're uh, writing uh, doc, you know documents or blogs for websites this uh, markdown uses um, that AI writer uses sorry getting tripped up kind of sleepy but anyway uh, this uh, markdown that AI writer uses enables you to uh, transport that document anywhere and it was developed by John Gruber uh, so if you want to look them up, you can. I'll actually have a link in the description for that. All right. So let me go ahead and just create an example. So I'll just type some random stuff to um, demo the application of this here. So let's do a hashtag create a headline and right now you're not really seeing anything you're just seeing a hashtag you're not seeing it update um, in real time but I'll show you how uh, we can get that to happen um, okay so let's uh, make this let's make this italics and this bold shopping and we're going to create a quick list and you can actually do that with these um, formatting options down here but I like to do it manually so if you uh, type one dot and then space it automatically jumps into list mode so oranges oops apples bananas all right so that's enough of that and um then I'll just make this another kind of sub headline here all right so now here's where the one of the best parts of the application comes in the best new features you if you swipe right you can see this is a preview of what you just created and as you can see the headline which I put in those uh, those uh, hashtags the text that I created and then that list I created as well and we can change uh, three different fonts here we have classic we have manuscript and we have modern sans and then we can export it um, in plain text HTML PDF or Microsoft Word alright so swipe back right and let me just show show you this really quick in full screen mode alright go all right there we go so let's go through the menus really quick about this shows you the version um, new you can put it in iCloud you can uh, do new open recent save duplicate export print etc undo let's see you can use dictation copy and paste all that good stuff format all of those options we went through at the bottom of the page headings list body type strong emphasis strike through um, add footnotes and links and clear styles focus we can uh, actually use typewriter mode with that you can actually do command T to activate typewriter mode as well as focus mode all right view uh, you can do day mode or night mode I'll actually uh, show you that shortly fade the toolbar hide the toolbar uh, show preview T 
templates which we uh, went through change width show library and uh, sort files by name kind date etc windows we can zoom zoom all bring all the front and uh, bring it back to the main menu and then we can also get help uh, look at the release notes get support join them on Twitter stuff like that and so let's go back to demos and let's just show you that mode just a kind of off-white uh, demo I like night mode better let's see and then there was one more thing that I wanted to look at okay there we go alright so syntax control so we put it on syntax mode if we click on objectives you'll see there's only one in this document it's fairly short nouns it'll show you all of the nouns I mean this this feature is the, one of the best features of the program because it enables you to um, at a glance see all of the adjectives nouns adverbs verbs conjunctions that you're using and um, give you a better idea of how to to modify that and, and clean your your documents up a bit better all right so let's go ahead and minimize this all right great so who is the program for um, anyone who needs a simple solution to distraction free writing uh, is also for anyone who uses markdown to write in plain text and is for um, any writer who uh, loves a distraction free clean minimalistic writing environment now my recommendation I will go out and get this application I do um, use another application called U Ulysses uh, version 2.0 that they uh, released um, a bit ago but this is one of the applications I go to when I just want to change the scenery and I want to um, kind of uh, get some of those features that I spoke of with the syn syntax control etc uh, right uh, capability definitely a capable application um, like I said you can use markdown as you can see I was able to show you a um, nice preview of the result and it renders beautifully in full screen or uh, you know with the application minimized performance wise stability wise the application is stellar um, all the way from actually version one all the way up until now I've never had a you know the application crash on me or um, experience performance issues but that's just me can't speak for everyone but um, overall I've had a really great experience with that um, let's see design um, once again a well uh, designed application very minimalistic it's designed to get you to jump in and then start writing um, and start you know focusing on your content which is um, something you know as a writer that's the most important thing you need to do and for price it's available on Android for $9.99 on iOS for $9.99 and on Mac OS X for $19.99 and again if you had um, IA Writer Pro uh, you can actually upgrade to IA Writer 3 version 3 for free alright so that was IA Writer version 3. Thanks for watching. And if you found this review helpful to you in any way, be sure to check out IA Writer in the App Store. Watch some of my other reviews and remember to like, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.